just as we did before uh, with with uh, linear with lines with polynomials, uh, we can do regressions. We, we can do uh, least squares regression with sinusoids as well. So uh, if we had data that looks something like this, we might say, well, you know, that doesn't really look like it's going to be a polynomial that's going to fit it best. But rather, um, a sinusoid would probably fit it, fit that best. And we could fit this with a sinusoid. Uh, so let's say this axis is t, and this axis is, uh, we'll call this f, axis f of t. So we could say, well, uh, f of t equals a naught plus c1 cosine omega t plus theta and this this omega naught is is whatever whatever frequency uh, or whatever the um, whatever the fundamental frequency is it depends on the period but um, anyway so so we could fit uh, a sinusoid we just have to figure out what these coefficients a naught c1 and and r and that would e equal that would be equivalent to fitting then a sinusoid through there like that now um, the other thing that we can do is we can actually rewrite this as uh, f of t equals um, a naught plus a1 cosine omega naught t plus b1 sine omega naught t. And what we've done by rewriting this here is we've traded this theta parameter that we would have had to estimate for um, uh, 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 representation of, of, of both the cosine and the sine because uh, anyway that, that just gives us the, the phase shift and so uh, we can represent it that way and, and so then we have our basis functions right we have our our constant uh, and then we're, we've got our cosine and then our sine and those are the the bases that we use to do our estimation. So the equations that we come up with then to solve are uh, we have our um, here. So our first column is just going to be ones, uh, and then all the way down, however many we have, uh, and then our next column will be just be our our cosine of uh, omega naught t and then all the way down so this would be t1 all the way to tn depending on how many we have and then this will just be sine omega naught uh, t1 all the way uh, to sine uh, omega naught uh, tn uh, and then our coefficients are going to be a naught a1 and b1 okay and then that is going to equal uh, what we'll have on the right hand side then will just be our um, our, our values uh, whatever we had uh, for f of t, f of t1, f of t2, and these are just, these are just our y values, oops, f of tn, alright, and then just doing what we had done before, uh, multiplying this, uh, if we, if we call this, whatever this matrix is here we just multiply the transpose here and the transpose here and we solve that system of equations uh, for the coefficients and uh, that's how we can do that and um, which is the general the general equation for least squares okay so we can see that we can do uh, regression 
uh, with with sinusoids, just as we did it with uh, with with whatever other ba with the polynomial basis functions that we used before. And so this is no different. We can do the exact same thing.